Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, toy collectors, and toy nuts? This is Starscream1988, and welcome to another Retro Fridays. Now, if you're just wondering, hey, I just saw a GoBots Retro Friday. Well, who said I was just going to do one? There are 52 Fridays in a year. I have a few hundred retros that could probably take five minutes or less. So, you know, I might do two or three here and there just to kind of catch up. <laughs> so, anyway, further ado, we have here Transformers Duo Cons. And the dual cons are real cool, very super simple toy, um, kind of fun. Um, I never owned these as a kid. Um, it took me a while to to, to find all the parts, um, and believe it or not, what you're seeing is 100% complete. The dual cons were made by Shockwave. I guess they were a failed experiment, um, and unfortunately, the modules have two different psycho like brains going on so it creates like a psychosis now the first play that we're going to look at is going to be battle trap and battle trap is basically a jeep and um some type of cobra jet i guess um helicopter I should say not jet um they have their decepticon symbols there which is pretty cool for some reason the the lower part of the vehicle doesn't have it but it does have the rub sign as you can see there and it still works and same thing with the helicopter there's a rub sign. These are super simple. They're free rolling, so they're not like battle charge or anything like that, but they are spring loaded. Um, he's not as easy. Just take this out, and he kind of already popped. All you do is kind of connect him to this here, and just kind of let it. Ooh. See, it doesn't always work. And, and whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, you probably get the gist of it. So you push that like that, connect it, there's your guy. He doesn't have, per se, arms. Um, he does, but they're horrible. Horrible articulation. So, so there you go, that's him. You can take this weapon here, peg it there, and believe it or not, folks, he's done. That's it. So, and then, you know, obviously you do the backwards thing and they separate. Um, again, he's more a little bit adjusted than this guy here. The second one they're going to be looking at is flywheels. Flywheels is this real cool tank here. Again, he has a weapon there. There's his rope sign there. The Decepticon symbol there. He's an SR36. Really looks like a Harrier jump jet, if anything. Um, rope symbol there. And with him, take this out. He would fly over. Peg him right there. And then just kind of bend them up and just peg it back here and that's basically it it looks a little bit nicer from the two out of the two I should say um, unlike battle trap flywheels actually has a little articulation in his hands as you can see there so he can move his hands um, you know sideways or whatever you can take his gun put it right there and again unfortunately he can't point at you but he does look better. I mean, personally, I like jets more than helicopters. And I think tanks are cooler than, than you know, jeeps and stuff like that. Um, so, but yeah. So, this is a pair of dual cons. Um, they're fairly cheap to um, purchase online. Obviously, secondary market. I got these through, um, through you know, buying lots and stuff like that. So, they, they came out pretty cheap, I would think. Um, but yeah, so um, if you can find these and add them to your collection, if you complete this like I am, then yeah, go for um, battle traps and flywheels. And as always, thank you for um, watching, rate, subscribe, and um, see you next time on um, Retro Fridays. You guys take care. Peace.